All right, thanks for staying with us now. Upskilling is a process of learning new skills to improve your current job performance or to qualify for a new job. In the modern business world, upskilling is essential for staying relevant and competitive. Technology is constantly changing and new skills are constantly being developed. Now, to keep up with the latest trends, you need to be willing to learn new things. Now, the job, um, job market rather is also becoming increasingly competitive, so you will need to have the skills that employers are looking for. By upskilling, you can improve your job performance, qualify for new jobs, and increase your earning potential. So today we are asking, what are those um, skill sets that employers are looking for in Nigeria? And what can online university graduates, uh, uh, what can they do, or what can they bring to the party, and what can make them more attractive, right? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0 one eight zero three four six six three. All right, so, Angie, I just wanted to quickly ask you, um, after your BSc, what have you done in terms of skills and all of that? Um, so, personally, I've, well, I've attended workshops, seminars, um, trainings, webinars. Um, I've done a few courses online. Um, yeah, so that's basically mm. what uh, I can do to constantly be, you know, learn and learn how to own my skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So interestingly, same thing. I've done a lot of workshops, seminars, webinars. Then I've done some courses online, um, different courses online. I've done some. I'm still doing some currently. Then I'm planning to resume my university one, <laughs> the one I abandoned. Trust me. <laughs> We all have that. <laughs> <laughs> if I have abandoned, see, eh? hmm. I've abandoned like two MBAs. No jokes. I started an MBA, business school, Netherlands. I started next four. I abandoned both of them. I say because I, as I did like this, so <laughs> let me go and face, let me go and chase my money first. But um, it's becoming clearer and clearer that as the time is moving forward, I really need to go back and literally like, you know, go and oh, get definitely. those. Yeah, so... I mean, things around project management, things around, what's it called, um, product management, I've done that. I'm on project management, because all of these things, I've done them over the years, but I've not just, you know, like, had proper certifications for it. Yeah. So why don't I just add it? Because it's something that I've done, if you look at my career path, I've done several projects, but not just had, like, a professional, um, what's it called, certification attached to it. So mm. now I'm becoming a lot more de um, deliberate. deliberate about yeah. getting those certifications. All right, so our very own Alera Boyo is a brand and product representative and influencer and the sales and partnership lead at Bumper and Premier Business Network. She also runs a business called Alex Boyo World, which offers partnerships as a service. Alera has a background in mass communication for her BSc and completed her MBA with Nexford University where she studied um, enabling e-commerce. Now, Omolade, on the other hand, <laughs> her thirst for knowledge and desire to break down barriers led her to earn her MBA, that's her Master's in Business Administration, from one of the most prestigious universities, Nexford University, with a focus of, on e-commerce as well, um, <laughs> and as well as her business certification, um, business processing certificates from the Institute of Certified Business Process, um, outsourcing and shared services professionals. And both Amolade and Alera are with us in studio. Hello, ladies. <laughs> because Alera is a friend of yours, I'm not going to start with her. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and she's on probation. Because wow. we have officially started her from Please, you should have me up but it's really good to see you, Alero. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, no, you cannot beg. We have uh, you push it it's really up nice there. to see you. How is Bumper? How is Premier Business Network? How is Nextword? You are doing a lot in lot. partnership. How is yes. it? Yes. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, I always like everyone to understand that the doing a lot is not really as... I mean, of course, it's hard, but it's not that hard because the luck I have is that I'm in conversations. So whether I like it or not, it's easy to plug in people and to plug in organizations together because I'm in those conversations. So okay. there's a lot going on, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Omolade has an interesting story. 
Yeah. And so, yeah, last week, Wednesday, we had um, OG, the, the new um, director yeah, for Next Board yeah. here. Yeah. And you, I was talking with her behind the scenes, and I said, ah, me, I started this Next Board in Next Board. My abandoned it. And when I now hear Omolade's story saying that you have two children and yeah. you need your course in nine months. Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of magic is that? <laughs> what is my excuse? <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> but you have an, a very interesting story and I'd mm -hmm. like you to share because again, why we are having this conversation is very deliberate. We're mm -hmm. intentional about ensuring whilst everybody's complaining that things are not working, the truth is that people also need to understand time and seasons, they need to understand that opportunities would come, yes, yeah. but they also that opportunity must meet some level of preparedness. Yeah. And your story just kind of like ties it in because again, there's no how you can grow without personal growth and development. Yeah. Like literally being deliberate about upskilling yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Right now in today's world, you need to be very intentional True. about it. And your story is quite uh, what's it called? Quite motivating and inspirational. So Thank if you would like to share, first of all, what okay. led you to even decide to say you wanted to take uh, another course and, and then go. Okay. Thank you very much. So for me, upskilling myself is a great important a great important story because I feel Nigeria as a whole, we like certificates. So it's not just about um, going to school, but also I was also after I want a school that will have a brand. I also want an international certificate. I want a school that will give me that edge that I'm looking for. So upskilling for me was just, I want to stay in competition at work, wherever I find myself, so I will not just be laid back. Yeah, I had a slow growth education-wise. For like six years, I was seeking for admission. So eventually when I got to school, I went to NC before having my BSc. So after finishing my BSc, I just want, okay, let me have something else that will make me be at the top, that will give me an edge over every other person. So I know most people, they will say they want to do MSc, MBA, they will be partnering with it in Nigeria. I'm so sorry about that. Two years, three years, they are still on, also strike. So for me, I'm just like, please, I don't want something that will keep me back. I want something I can achieve. Because you already lost six years. Yeah, six yeah. years of my life lost, yes. So I just want to catch up and I want to, not just catching up, I want to catch up in a big way. Like, yeah. I want to flow. I want people to see that, okay, yeah, she actually did well. No matter the past, I want something that will give me an edge. So for me, I just look around, which school will I do? So I was actually considering Lagos Business School. Then I look at the course, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't proceed for that. So then I come across, I came across um, next World University online. online. So I look at it, I look at the course. I remember someone was telling me, are you sure you can actually do this? Then I said, yeah, I can do it. I look at it that you can even be on fast track mode. So that was how the next world journey started. I, started in, I registered in December. As a January, I was saying, no, I'm not going to do it. Then somebody called from next world. I think they have a good network. So when the person called, the person actually engaged me well. Then in January, I paid for the decision to start in February. February to, I had July and, I think July and August. July and September, I couldn't enroll for any course because that was when I finished my foundation. So they said, by 5th of the following month, you must have been deployed the course, but I haven't yet, so they couldn't. So that was even why it lasted yeah, from... Finished. I would have even finished. But you were having like three courses. Because like I was, literally, the month I did two courses in one month, almost, that <laughs> I told myself, never, never again. To do it again. <laughs> never again. And I now hear Moladi saying she did three yeah, courses, three in, courses month, in a month. month. <laughs> I was going to say that there's, a, just part, sleep, there's but a part the sleeping part is so like, there's a part in your story that I really enjoy the part you said that you know in your job yeah. what it then eventually became what it translated yeah. to can Operation, you share that yeah. means opportunity for everyone it's not just about saying you want to achieve but you have to be timely about it so for me at the time I even started it my husband was actually the person pressurizing me, you must do this, I want you to have this by January so that you won't feel looked down upon, you won't, all this um, the kind of resentment that you get on the job, you won't be feeling it again. So by January when I concluded, not knowing a colleague of mine is going to resign, he actually resigned based on this Japa <laughs> trend, so he relocated and the opportunity came. Luckily, with the help of my handy CEO, I was opportunity to become the team lead of my unit. We had not been a chartered accountant yet. Hmm. So it was just an edge for me. And that was so because you had completed I an completed MBA. An MBA. Yeah. Mm. So it's not just about saying, I've had my BS, let me relax. After I had my BS, I felt, okay, what was the next thing for me to do? 
an immediate life mm. of the MBA. So not just even doing the MBA, I had this focus that, okay, I want to learn and I want to be impacted. What's going to be the thing I actually want to get from this? I want to have a more analytical skill, more, more, more strength to actually confirm what is ahead of me mm. and not to be laid back again. I want to actually fulfill my purpose on it, my destiny. I actually want to have this driving force in me that will make me actualize it. Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling you, the driving force, even we can feel the driving force. But you know what, um, Alera, I'll come to you because I really want to to also share a bit of your story because you also had, you had that opportunity meeting, you know. And then yeah. this, yes, the, the, to, to see how interesting this is, it's opposite. Yes. She finished in how long? Nine months. Nine months. I finished in three years. Three years. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I finished in three yeah. years. Yeah. So let's quickly run off on a break. When we come back from that break, I'll hear from Angie and I'll come yeah. to Alera for yeah. her own story. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing the topic of skilling to remain relevant in the modern business world with Alero and Omolade. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So, Alero, mm -hmm. your story is quite interesting because me and you did the same boat. You now left me. <laughs> <laughs> it was to even know that I took time. I still leave you. <laughs> Omolade, Omolade is never more. Stay shattered the team. And I know it's three years, right? Mm -hmm. And yours is actually interesting because after that three years, it's just been, you know, like that, like that. Maybe you should share the story. Let me not, <laughs> let me not go ahead of myself. Okay. Um, where do I even start from? When I started my MBA, it was like 2019. And I came across the university on Instagram. Sponsored ad, you know, just I saw it. For me, I've always been somebody that I've always had a curious mind. And a lot of people who do not know me personally will see it as uh, you're all over the place. So you want this one, or you want that one. But for me, it was more like, what is, what is the next big thing? How can I achieve the next thing? I was lucky to be in an organization that was super interested in you know, pushing their employees to upskill. I was very new. I remember when I just joined, I saw the advert HR had sent that, oh, if you're interested in um, going for any higher learning certifications or masters, apply. So for me, I was pretty new and I asked, so what's the policy um, I want to apply? And they were like, oh, you have to be two years in the organization before you apply. Well, with my coconut head, I applied. <laughs> <laughs> Being just two months in the organization, and luckily for me, I was able to get a 40% scholarship from, my, um, from the organization just I was being working. Just the staff of the organization. Yeah, just being a staff of the organization. So the organization paid 40%. And considering university, it costs a monthly tuition. So the organization paid about eight months for me up front. Mm -hmm. So I now had the time to like, you know, study. And while I was studying, I remember I was doing marketing. Then I started being curious, oh, this marketing profession, what is it about? Luckily for me, the same organization allows you to move to a Different new department. role. Yeah, so, okay, you're curious, right? Okay, you want to do this, move. So I was moved to, a, to the marketing department. I was learning marketing. And it was from there, I now got the skill to do partnerships. And that's how I'm doing partnership As right now. You are a fantastic <laughs> partner right yeah. now. Yeah. And yeah. I would not let us to breathe <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> But we, we see your work and, and it's, it's, it's really, really, I, I, and you know, again, maybe because I know the journey. Yeah. So every time I'm so excited, I, I want to, I want to repost, I want to put it on my story, I, you know, like, because I see that the work, and, and which now comes back and I'll come to NJ because, you know, I'm sure she's dying to have uh -huh. questions, you know, which comes back to the part of, of skilling to uh -huh. stay relevant because again, it is based on the skills that you got. Interestingly, both of you specialize in e-commerce. The same e thing, yes. Yeah? But you are fully in e-commerce right now. Because yeah. Alero has done different yeah. things. And the main thing now where you are at Bumper is e-commerce. E yes. You know? And it's so it's almost like a square peg in a square hole. It's the you know, so it's not enough for people to just shout there are no jobs. I agree. What have you done? Yeah. You know, no. to yes, that keeps you relevant. For the to, to today's business world, it's completely different from what we did, you know, before. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me come to you, NJ. So for for me, I look at it in a different way. So this is the, you know, increasing your skill in order to progress in your career. But even when you go down all the way down, 
there are different ways you can actually upskill mm -hmm. even as even from the point of view because most people think oh you can only upskill when you're doing like you do a bsc and then yeah. you go ahead and that's do an mbn and for some people it's not that because for some people that's not relevant within the field where they find themselves i feel like if i want to bring it down to like layman's i was having a conversation with a friend of mine and she, then her daughter makes cupcakes you know so something like that we watch a lot of movies and we see um kids who start eventually start to sell cupcakes or start to sell like lemonades outside it's a way of upskilling mm -hmm. from doing something is just what i Improve see it yourself. is improving yourself and getting eventually getting paid for it mm -hmm. you know so from there are a lot of people who cook for people yes you're busy so they cook for you and eventually when you know things get hard for them they start to charge a certain fee there are people who do um help people to edit resumes there are people who actually help people to build resumes and eventually and from doing it free from maybe school and uni and all that they come out and they actually have an organization that helps people do that mm -hmm. so there are different ways i feel like there are different ways for a common man that okay. you can upscale because most times when people hear it, they just like you said they just think is being in the school being in school and learning there's actually the practical outside one that just requires a little bit of common sense Absolutely. what am i doing currently and um what can i do in order to improve that just a little bit and get paid for it like um this morning i was on my way to work and just that uh first uh lucky phase one roundabout there were a lot of young teenagers begging guys um, young boys begging, you know, kneeling down and begging. And um, someone made a statement, someone that was in the car made a statement and said, why do these guys never think about something else that they could use their strength to do? So from that, I was just thinking, so we're having a conversation and I said, see, there, there's a lot of construction going on in Lekki Phase 1, first of all. And I know that I've seen, even though we watch this thing in movies, but you can actually walk up there and, and ask them if there's anything you can do. You might not be paid as much as other people are being paid, but at least you will probably, you will learn a skill if they, if they approve for that because... I think, wait, but you're going too far, NJ. Are they interested in earning a Oh, no, a that's, like living? I said, that's a different one. So the, that's a different if, yeah, if side of it. That, that example that you're, you're gearing a bit or, or heading towards, yeah. um, begging is a business in Nigeria. So it, it's going to be very difficult. I've seen people that said they took those people out of the street and gave them a job, you know, to do. And, they, came and right they, back. they left it and they went back. Because again, that has become a skill for mm -hmm. them, yeah. you know. And they believe that they're highly skilled in that. Yeah. So I, I, I hear you, right? Um, and yes, the truth is, where I am today, all the skills that I've gathered today, they are, you know, skills that I picked up mm -hmm. and yeah. skills that I did probably just a small two months, one month course online and I'm done. But you see, where the conversation, right, that I see happening around Alero and um, Omolade is growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? So when you get to a point in your company, mm -hmm. there is no, there are some, there are some kind of companies that if you see can, Omolade's story for instance if she did not have that MBA mm -hmm. it would not have been possible for her to become the team lead yeah you might get a promotion get maybe a pay rise yeah, pay and all yeah. of that but that particular role required that she needed to have extra an certificate. extra certification yeah. right so like literally somebody the, the reason we're even having this conversation is that somebody is watching and somebody is feeling like i am dissatisfied mm -hmm. i don't know what is happening what can i do next and that's why some of these people they have thought through the process and they've said you know what pay small small mm -hmm. don't pay all yeah, at don't once pay, yeah. don't go and bring break your bank uh, 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 or shatter your bank account for you to be able to you don't even have to go to the school you don't like, have to go to the, the school and yes school because either. again like you rightly said nigeria is a certificate driven country mm -hmm. yeah, so i remember yeah, when my yeah. sister got a new she got she she switched from banking this was the first time she was going into fintech I remember she was pissed one day she came back home she was so upset what happened she said can you imagine one small rat so at that time she had done maybe maybe say 12 years or maybe 13 years in the banking industry and the kind of thing the kind of uh, what's it called skill and the in the uh, her level of um, knowledge of the the business was way 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 ahead like this person just came from nowhere. <laughs> you understand? Yes, 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 but wait, 
She was so upset because it was not because because she was not even teaching the person the job, <laughs> well, no, but because the person had an international certification. certification. Because there's that factor in Nigeria, NJ, mm -hmm. that you have an international certification, and I have a a no, local no, certification. Like from a Do you understand? Nigerian All of a sudden, automatically the gives the employee is. the right to think that they I am deserving of a lesser pay. So she was so pissed. <laughs> I think that was the beginning because her own she's a voracious yeah, learner. Yeah, she just as she did finish she one. On for it. Hi. She went head on. Yeah, she because she just graduated. She just did it. Me that told her about next one. She has graduated and left. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she just graduated and she's already on another one. She has like four different at a time. She's doing like four different courses. Oh, yeah. You understand? I say, Auntie, don't go and kill yourself. She say, No, 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 no. Say she don't vest because again, at some point in the corporate wo world, when you want to grow, right? When you want to now start being in that top yeah, management, top, management top two percent level, you cannot just wake up and say, "Oh, I have this skill, I have that skill." You understand? There has to now be backed up certification. professional certifications yeah. that have, like, you know, that takes you to that next level. Yeah. And I think that's what Happened. this, Actually, yeah, yeah, that's what is happening with um, so, Alera. And so I wanted to just quickly point out something. So it's there's one thing for you to have that competitive mind to want to, you know, move forward. Then there's another thing for you to be willing, like find something that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. I remember a couple of months ago, I mean, we all know my story. In, 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 late last year, I decided to start over again, even though I had you know, done a couple of things. But I was like, you know what? I wanted something different and I was ready to go at it. It was months that I didn't even have a paying job. But what was I doing? I was you know, doing different things. I kept upscaling. I kept positioning myself in the environment that the kind of people that I wanted to hire me would see me easily. Mm -hmm. So for you, in order for you to just, you know, become a, an, a better version of yourself, you have to be interested in growing mm -hmm. and learning. And it's not just about the competition of, you know, getting a better job or a higher pay. It's about you. Because whatever you learn, not, nobody's going to take it away from mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. You're going to use it to get more opportunities. It might, it might even be a better opportunity than you expect. Monade did not expect that opportunity. She knew... So, so fast. Do you understand? Yeah. She knew that, okay, the moment I improve myself, there is no way something, something will not come for me. Okay. So you just put one foot in front of the other. And before you know it, people are actually watching you. People are watching you progressing. People are watching you make that... You might think it's uncomfortable, you're suffering, but outside, people are like, I see what that girl is doing. Mm. I see what. And then when the result comes out, you'll be surprised how surprised. people will just reach out and say, Well done. Okay, look at True. you. And I'm so proud of you at Thank the way you. you you have two kids. Ha. You <laughs> You know, NJ never NJ never <laughs> tests the course when me and you do. That's why she never no, understands. No, no, if you don't even understand, like if you understand the stress, like literally, I just they submit homework. <laughs> yeah, but those are, before you did it, Tuesday is here. You know, like, oh my God! And until you have an assignment, because you have to read first. Yes. Yeah. And the the assignment the assignments can yes, just you answer. must you analyze. 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 Oh, analyze. Oh, and the courses are not courses of. They are not normal. What is what is A and B? What is no? The courses are courses of now. You have to renewable energy scenarios. You know, artificial intelligence, marketing, like things that. Talking about you for me a kind of Wikipedia. So whatever response a student gives you have to build on that response and do another solution to it. Mm, so for me i think that's introduction that the of e-commerce yeah so at the point when i saw that course i was like ah, how will i know this person's solution and start building so next we give you more this analytical skill and ability to just think, think. Mm. it's not just for you to just stay static you just want to think and do more yeah mm. and it's so a you know, and and you know another thing there is there are particular sessions you can use you can just use any particular section and work your um, answers with and submit. Mm. The only thing will flag it up. So it's not yeah. just about you just solving a solution. It's about you also knowing what you because are doing. Because they have to verify yeah. that they you've verify. actually gone to search to do that. some exactly. research exactly. or some exactly. sort. Because now with the advent of artificial intelligence, people send out a lot. They, they, now people are sending are out you know, emails. Are you not happy about your diploma? I mean, it's helping us. It's well, helping it, hasn't, it hasn't exactly helped me. So I haven't it hasn't used exactly it. exactly helped you? No, no, no. I haven't. I, maybe I'm the one who has who hasn't, you know, Indulge. <laughs> I think we need to get her our own special robot. Like, Not what? yet. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I want to have with human beings for now. <laughs> no, but I think I think um, it, it's a it's a fun conversation to have. You know why I say that this? I mean, Angie has a brother that is in Nigeria and is working for an international international company. I mean, she has not mentioned that one. 
but I may help her to mention it. But I can say to you that um, the the beautiful thing yeah. about upskilling yourself in today's world is that you're you're not even limited by geography. Yes. No, you're, you're not. not. There's nothing. There's no boundary no around you. You are the one that would decide. Okay, you know what? This is where I want to work. Yeah. And it's something that you can just from the from the comfort of your home get yeah. an application, apply, and you get the job. Mm -hmm. So so literally, the world is truly a global Evolving. village. It's becoming like here. Yeah. yeah. So the, so there is no excuse. You know, before we would have had excuses about this, about that. So many yeah. organizations are, you know, stripping all those excuses yes. away. Anyway, so, but if on. you now decide that I want to be serious and I want to take my life seriously, right? The growth will just be exponential, which is what you guys are seeing, yeah. right? And people are then wondering, and somebody will come and say, ah, where did Omolade come from? Say, yes. Do you understand? Mm, what Omolade yes. took her time. Been. First of all, we two, like, I don't want to say toddlers. They are just <laughs> because they are toddlers, honestly. Like, like, Forget yeah. it, they are toddlers. <laughs> Six and four years. Like yeah, they are toddlers. You're the real MVP, yeah, I have to say. say because but, but I think you had something to say to someone that was watching, right? right. Because it's not enough for us to just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. If you had something to say to someone that was watching and the, the person is just at the point where you were, point of dissatisfaction, and you just needed something, you know, what would you say to that person? I would just tell the person you can't do it. Mm. Do don't it. don't limit yourself. Just since you have dream it, you can actually achieve it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Don't get limited. Mm -hmm. Don't be discouraged. Yes, there will be talks here and there. Let mentioned something earlier that the people are saying you are yeah, you are yeah. They will talk. <laughs> yes, leave them, let them talk. In fact, if they don't talk, you will know you are existing. Yeah, that talk will actually keep you going. Yes, I've been talked down. You know, you working as an accountant and you're not chattered, there's this kind of way you just be talked down on. But I don't allow that limits me. Mm -hmm. I look at where I'm going to, so I know. If I should dream this thing, I can actually achieve it. Mm. And I'm just telling you, if you dream it, you can you achieve it. it. Awesome, awesome. Alera, what about you? What will you say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what will I say? So for me, I think the major driver for me has been to be able to solve problems. And I'm, I'm always, I'm very much interested in small businesses. And I've been able to upscale myself to get to the point where I'm working with an organization that is solely you know, interested in solving problems for small businesses. And it just feels like I'm in the right place to help this brand push. If you're not using Bomba, I don't know what you're using. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> she will not move a job. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, I, wanted, I wanted to say it's follow me bomb party, but mm. I'm singing a song now. Continue what you're saying. <laughs> so, I mean, you just have to be interested in creating a change in the world and creating a change for yourself. And for me, I am so much interested in learning and creating that change. So mm. that's my own story, learning and creating a change for, you know, the world. Mm. Absolutely. NJ? Um, well, from everything that the ladies have said, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to consider signing up for a course. Hey, hey we have got it. I hope. hope. And let me hold Come to me. <laughs> let me be the one to enroll. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, excuse me, guys. Yeah. Are you still, I'm here now. Uh, Brand ambassador. No, I think no, I should have asked We need Brand ambassador. I should actually um, encourage you. Know, like, we need you. I need you in my life. No, Nine I'll months. motivate you. <laughs> that's, how fast, that's how fast I want to get it done. <laughs> Yeah. But I think it's very, very important for you, to, for us all and everyone out there to be very intentional about, you know, Great. investing in your personal and professional life mm -hmm. because that helps to increase your current skill set and makes, you know, you just keeps you at the doorstep of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was just going to say that um, truth is, right, you do it, you don't do it, time will, will, will go by. Secondly, you know, sometimes people say, oh, money, money, money. If you really sit back and look at how much you spend on frivolous things, like, you know, just here and there, uh, you will still spend that money mm -hmm. regardless. Because again, uh, I think maybe, my sister used to say this thing about me. She said, Uwa, I have watched you. I think, again, I'm a motivation for her. Because even me, before I even do it, I would have told 500 people, say, this thing, go and do it, oh. <laughs> you know? I know. And I've not done it, oh. You know, but once I get an information, I am a sucker for helping people with the right information. Because I just believe that if somebody knows, they would excel. Mm -hmm. Given. Literally, people do not succeed because they do not know what to do. Mm -hmm. It's not because, you know. So once you start to put out the right information out there, that's why I'm in media. Once, once you put out the right information out there, people know what to do, they will do better and they will succeed. 
So that's my goal. But you see, what I've done over the years is that I have done several kinds of trainings. So I started doing small, different kinds of trainings from a very, like maybe like as far back as 16 years ago. So outside of my BSc, I've done several. So, you know, interestingly, I was going to do the project management again with Coursera. Mm -hmm. Only for me to go and pull out my certificate that I did in 2012 mm -hmm. or something, or 2011, with J.K. Michaels. They were in Ikeja Jiri. I did, um, I did Jones or something. J.K. Michaels. Many years ago, I did, if you see the certificate, I got a, an A. You know, mm -hmm. I did a mock test. <laughs> I was just looking at it. That, so this thing has been inside of me. And see, once you're someone that is a learner for life, exactly. yeah. right? There is no way, first of all, yeah, there's no, and again, there's no way you will not succeed in life. I agree. So people will just look at you and think, oh, why is an overnight? Yeah, she's not an overnight success. <laughs> she actually, she's been Put doing it quietly, world. it's just that nobody no saw. Yeah, so I just want to encourage, sense. I'm really feeling the need to encourage someone out there. Mm -hmm. If you are really, really hungry for growth and you want to progress beyond where you are now, you know, try as much as possible take advantage of all the i mean we've mentioned so many brands and we'll not call them again but take advantage of any of these platforms and pick up a skill today upskill yourself change your level you have the power the capacity to change yourself from point a to point b it's as simple as that and let's stop making excuses and because again we are in these kinds of times that we're in today you know you are the, in the best position. See what she said. Mm -hmm. Omalani says of this, people are missing it. Mm -hmm. As people, they japa, opportunities are opening oh, up in your me. company. Okay. So would you be ready? Because Omalade was just there, reading book. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, months, and standing by opportunity. <laughs> and standing by. And what? her team lead resigned because he had to japa. So he was japa in, an opportunity came up and you were picked because you had a certification. Yes. Do you understand? So I'm just saying to anybody, I'm feeling the need to just say to the, to someone out there, please don't waste time. Do it now. Enroll now. Go to Alero's page. You will know the where where to enroll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have yes, a comment. I have a comment. Good evening, my beautiful, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways upscaling to remain relevant in the modern business world. Um, your beautiful guest. Your beautiful guest mentioned uh, mention of learning a skill and having a brand in that skill. Trust me, if you're not ready to learn a skill, bear it in mind that you cannot be relevant in society. My dear beautiful sister Uwa said that you have to decide what you want to do before thinking to be relevant in the modern business world. She also said that if you are skillful, you have to have that certification to go into the next level, and that is very key. Nice to have my dear, beautiful sister, Alera, in the studio. I've missed you so much. My name is Danielle Ilo, Ways Daniel. regular fan. And she's going to be going. And we have another comment. Quickly, Just another okay. one. Um, as we continuously gateway keeping, um, keeping for bigger opportunities at any, in any field of endeavors, we must always realize that logistics that logistics that solves some challenges yesterday are no longer relevant today because modernization sets in every day. Therefore, upscaling is the only uh, purchasing currency in the world of a daily modernization for the long-lasting relevance at any field of choice. This is from Olushegun from Choir. Thank you, Olushegun. Thank you so much, Omolade. She's my new best friend, by the way. Thank you. Because I have to finish my course in nine months. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. And then she dumps you. Congratulations once again. Now, before we go, and sure you follow us across all our social media platforms. We have our podcast on Spotify. You can always listen. You know, it's at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop your comments, and most most importantly, follow all our engagements. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. It says, um, from Nelson Mandela, running taught me valuable lesson in cross-country competition. Training counted more than intrinsic ability, and I could compensate for a lack of natural aptitude with diligence and discipline i applied this in everything i did we'll see you guys tomorrow with our ladies night out at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation to your screen hi thank you <laughs>